Paul had suffered many injuries in motocross before this, broken bones, surgeries, but this one was different. This is Paul's story. My name is Paul Plua, from a town called Canfield, full of cows and farmlands. I started racing motocross when I was six years old. I raced for 12 years. And uh, unfortunately, one day just had a bad injury. Paul was 16 years old, a high school student at the time this happened. He was doing qualifiers for the world champion in Vegas. And two weeks before, we did the training in New York and something went wrong. There was a jump uh, with some ruts in it and unfortunately in one of the ruts there was a rock and just managed to clip it so I went head first into the next jump and the bike was with me between my legs and just snapped me in half. The motorcycle started flipping and he landed on the head. The motorcycle on the top of him, break him in half. It was, I think, a day that they'll never forget. When I got there, he was already dead. He wasn't breathing. Then, helicopter came and they took him to hospital in Buffalo. I first met Paul a couple of months after his accident. He had a traumatic brain injury and spinal cord injury. Paul was a nationally ranked motocross racer and he went from competing on the world stage to lying in a hospital bed with a spinal cord injury. It was at the beginning of our first meeting at Paul's house that Andy, being the proud dad, took me downstairs just to show me Paul's trophy room. When I first walked into that room, I was blown away. I've never seen anything like the trophy room that Paul had. It really gave me a sense as to how successful this young guy was. So while I was at the hospital, my parents were getting letters at home from the hospital with medical bills. And I mean, they even charged us for water and for ice cubes in the water. Just the hospital was, I think, 120,000 for the operation. Then, then, we didn't know what to do. We had insurance in the States that covered all extreme sports. We sent the bills to them. They sent them back and said, you know, we're not going to cover you because you're getting paid. Getting paid? I wasn't getting paid anything. Maybe in just trophies, but not any money or anything like that. Billy came and gave us heads up and he said he's going to take care of us. We were finally refused by insurance policy for the bills in the States and everything like that. We knew we needed help. And once I started working with Bill, I mean, he provided caseworkers, OTs, uh, speech language pathologists, physiotherapists, physiotherapy clinics. I mean, everything you need to, to get better and to return to, you know, what you're capable of. And, um, you know, after a little while working with him, he was started talking to me about a settlement. And, you know, we started going through the papers and looking through the files. Seeing Paul play wheelchair basketball for the first time was fantastic because I know that he has money to pay for the rehab he'll need in the future. I know that he has the money to replace the income that he would have earned but for his accident. Working with Bill and his law firm really made the process as easy as possible. You know, while you're at the hospital or wherever you are, rehab, outpatient, inpatient, doing your thing, I mean, you've got someone that's there 24 seven working for you, working through the paperwork, and so that you don't have to worry about it. You can focus on yourself and your family. I don't have to worry about paying the bills or paying catheter supplies or bowel bladder or medications or anything like that. I can focus on myself and what I need to get better and what I need to do to, you know, return to the person that I was before. Paul's an amazing young man. We look forward to watching him grow up, having a family, succeeding in whatever he chooses to do. He's a fighter. He's a fighter. I'm proud of him. My name is Paul Blue, 18 years old, and I'm a class three wheelchair basketball player. Paul 
Paul's story is an example of what's possible. And for us, it's what motivates us to continue doing what we're doing.